Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. This punch is made with four beautiful squares that you can find in uh, Crochet Bohemian Squares Part 1. And you need to make four of these squares. And now we will put this poncho together, make a neckline and a border. And here are the four squares. And uh, I used for this project Lion Brand Mandala Sparkle and the number four hook. Let's have fun and let's get started. If you want to double check yourself, you should have 57 double crochets on the last round from corner to corner. 57, 57 on the all sides. I picked the square, my favorite square out of the four that I want to be my front. And I picked the square that I want to be one of my sleeves or my shoulder parts. And I turn the square over to the wrong side. So the wrong side is facing up. And I also turn this shoulder part over so the wrong side is facing up. Then I put the two parts together. The right sides are inside, the wrong sides are out. Put my loop to the top part of the first and the second piece through the third stitch. We made five, this is the third one. And I pull my yarn through and I grab top loops only. Then I go into the next top loop of the first piece and the second piece. And make a slip stitch. And I will repeat that all the way to the corner. Slip stitch into the first double crochet into the second, only the top loop. And continue this all the way to the next corner. I finished my seam, I went from corner to corner. I made a stitch in the last double crochet and then two more stitches into the chains. This is how it looks from the wrong side. And this is how it looks from the right side. I finished my seam. This is how it looks from the right side. This is the stitch we just made. This is the shoulder part and this is going to be the middle. I left three chains empty. One two, three, and I will place my second shoulder part right side down and the wrong side is facing me. Let's add it to our poncho. Fold the other part back over. We added this part. The first part is the middle part, right side up. Now we have the right side down and then just fold the third part we just crocheted over. So we have one, two, three layers. Wrong side up, wrong side up, and here we have the right side up and the wrong side is on the back. pieces we just crocheted together are here and continue as you would just if you put another stitch together go into the third top part of the chain then grab your new piece that's in the middle and also go through the third chain the top loop and then continue we already have a thread through here so you see where you have to go next top loop only and slip stitch then you can fold the sleeve, the first uh, shoulder part out again. We're done with it. We made the seam. Now we make the second seam going to the next shoulder part. 
and we will continue just as we did before every stitch every top loop gets a slip stitch and just go stitch by stitch This is how it looks and then when we are done with it we will fold it over and you can see how our poncho will form. And also continue this all the way to the corner. I finished stitching the second shoulder part together slip stitching and this is my seam seen from the wrong side and I stitched it all the way this time to the third chain so I got one two three stitches in three chains and here's our other part and then now I can just fold it open like this and you can see the two seams from the right side the corner this is the neck part and then this other shoulder part we crocheted on first and now we will crochet with slip 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 stitches exactly like we did this part the back side now we will put our fourth square. Place your poncho, this is the neckline. And I have it right side up. And then fold your sleeves over or your shoulder part. Fold the right shoulder part over. Now this is the wrong side that you've seen. The two, rights, uh, the two right sides are inside. And then do the same thing with this shoulder part. And you can see how the poncho looks now this is the neck line then place your fourth square to where the wrong side is facing you this is the right side and place it over the other square and we will repeat exactly the same thing as we did just now we will start on the side Start with the third chain and slip stitch each top loop of each stitch together just like we did before. Work our way to the middle and then we will slip stitch the third chain here and the third chain here and the third chain on the third piece together just like we did before as well and then continue slip stitching stitch by stitch those two parts together all the way to the other side and we will end also again with a slip stitch into the third chain on both pieces I turned my poncho upside down here's the neck and I will go down to one of the corners and we will start to make our border starting with this double crochet. I am at the bottom of my poncho at the bottom corner. You can choose the back I used, I chose the back and I will start making the border. Pull a new color through on the first double crochet, make a slip stitch with a new color and then make three chains one two three and one more chain for the chain space double crochet five into the corner with a chain one double crochet chain two double crochet chain 
three, chain, four, chain, and five, chain, double crochet into the next double crochet, the first one, chain one, skip the second one and go into the third one, chain one, skip the fourth one and double crochet into the fifth one, chain one and so on, skip the next one and make a double crochet. Do that all the way until you get to where we stitch the two pieces together. I reach the chain spaces where our two pieces meet and make my last double crochet into the last double crochet right here. Chain one and then I make two double crochets with chains into the first chain space, double crochet, chain, and the second double crochet, chain, and then I go to the second space and make a double crochet and the chain and the second double crochet and the chain and now I will continue making the double crochet and the chain as we did before all the way to the next space and then I will repeat this pattern double crochet chain double crochet chain double crochet chain double crochet chain four times in the second corner make a chain double crochet five with a chain one two, three, four, and five, chain, and start the pattern again in the side, the side working our way back to the first corner is going to be exactly the same as we did here with the same stitching over our chain spacing, chain spaces. I've made my last double crochet with a chain and now to finish the round I will make a slip stitch into the first double crochet into the third chain. Chain 3. Make a double crochet in the next chain space. And then make a double crochet in the first double crochet we made into the corner. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make a double crochet into the fifth, into the last double crochet we made into the corner. And now we're gonna alternate. We will make 13 double crochets. One into the double crochet, now into the chain space. One into the double crochet. one into the chain space, one into the double crochet, one into the chain space, make 13 double crochet, 13 double crochet and if I count the first one here, one, two, three, four, five, six. The thirteen should be over the sixth previous double crochet. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the next two double crochets. One, two, and then repeat. Make thirteen double crochets. One in the double crochet. One in the chain space. One in the double crochet. One in the chain space. Always make 13 double crochets, 5 chains, skip 2 double crochets. And when I get to the chain spaces, I just continue like I do with all the other double crochet, double crochet into the chain space and double crochet into the double crochet. Chain space and the double crochet in the chain space and the double crochet and so on until you get 13 and then continue with the chain of five skip two double crochet groups down here and continue with the 13 double crochets
I'm at the corner and I made my 13 double crochet. My 13th double crochet should be in the first double crochet that we made into the corner. I chain 7 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then I repeat exactly what we did on the other side. I go to the first uh, um, sorry to the last double crochet we made into the chain space make a double crochet and then continue just like we did on the other side one double crochet into the chain space and one into the double crochet one into the chain space and one into the double crochet and we continue this pattern just like we did on the other side. 13 double crochet, 5 chain spaces, skip 2 double crochets on the bottom, and so on. I finished the round. I made 10 double crochets and I have already 3 right here. I started with the 3 so now I have 13. I make a slip stitch into the 3rd chain. I go directly into the chain space and I make 12 double crochets into the chain space. Make 12 double crochets. I've made 12 double crochets and I will skip 1, 2 stitches and make 9 single crochets. 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then into the first space, ten double crochet. And then I will skip the next two stitches again and repeat nine single crochets. Skip the last two stitches, ten double crochets. Skip the next two stitches, nine single crochet, and so on. Repeat this pattern all the way to the corner. I reached the next corner, I made 9 single crochets, skip 2, in the corner I made 12 double crochets, then I skip 2 stitches again and make 9 single crochets. Then I skip the last 2, I skip the first and the last 2 and then I make 10 double crochets, just like I did on the other side. Not counting the corners, I made 10 fans on each side. And now I will finish the round. I made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I made only 7 single crochets. Now I will make back post treble crochets. Yarn over twice. Go into the first double crochet from the back to the front and around the double crochet from the front to the back pull the yarn through the double crochet pull through two loops and through two and through two and chain one and repeat yarn over twice go to the second double crochet from the back to the front from the front to the back around the double pull the yarn through then through two through two through two and a chain and repeat that we will make around every double crochet we made in the previous round we will make a back post treble crochet so now i have to make 12 into this corner fan with a chain in between the 12 double uh, treble back post doesn't get a chain skip one two single crochets 
and then single crochet one, two, three, four, five single crochet. Skip the first two, that's what we did, and now we're skipping the next two, and then repeat 10 back post treble crochet around each of the previous double crochet with a chain. And the last treble doesn't get a chain, just the ones in between. So we make 10. Then we skip one, two singles, one, two, three, four, five single crochets, get a single crochet, and then we skip the last two, and then again ten back post treble crochets. I reached my next corner, I made the five single crochet, and I will just continue with the corner making twelve back post treble crochets again with a chain all around and then skip the first two again five single crochets skip two and then continue making ten back post treble crochet the end of the round Skip the next two double crochets and make one, two, three, four, five double crochets. Now we're at the back post treble. Make a slip stitch into the back post treble and make a single crochet between the first and the second back post treble crochet now we will make four picots in the next four chain spaces chain three then go between those two they look like an A or arrow up go between those two legs make a single crochet our first picot, then single crochet into the next chain space, chain three, and make a second picot, single crochet into the next chain space, chain three, make the third picot, and then the fourth picot into the next chain space. Go into the next chain space, make a single crochet and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into the next chain space. Into the next chain space, start your picots again. Four picots into the next four chain spaces. Single crochet, chain three, and make a pico. And the second one. And the third one. And the fourth one. And then single crochet into the last chain space that we have between the ninth or between the eleventh and the twelfth back post treble. We have four picots to the right, the five chain space, the five chain chain space, and then four picots to the left. Now we will start the pattern that we will repeat all the way to the next corner. We will always make five single crochets into the previous five single crochets. Two, three, four, and five.
skip to the between the first and the second treble and make a pico between the first and the second tra back post treble crochet now we will make three picots that's our first one and then go to the next space make the second one make the third one in the next space into the next space make a single crochet chain five two three four five into the next chain space make a single crochet into the next chain space start the picots again make three consecutive picots one two three chains and the first pico go to the next chain space make the second pico And then into the next chain space, make the third pico. And make a single crochet into the last chain space. And then we will repeat again. Five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five. Skip directly between the first and the second back post. Start your picots, three picots, one, two, three picots single crochet chain of five single crochet into the next chain space then three more picots and a single crochet in the last space and then again five single crochets all the way to the corner we'll repeat the five single crochets three picots chain space of five and three picots. This is how it looks in the corner. When you get to the corner, you will do exactly the same thing as we do here, but you will add one more picot. So where we have three picots here, when you get to the corner, make you five single crochets and then just make one, two, three, four picots. Then the chain space of five. Then again, four picots. One, two, three, four picots. The last cha chain space gets also like all the other picots we did. It gets a single crochet and then just repeat a, right along the side one two three four five single crochets again and then with the three picots chain space of five and the three picots and a single crochet in the last chain space so this is exactly the same as the other picots that we made right here except we made three here and in the corner we just add one more to the right side and one more to the left And when we get to the end, I reached the end here. I made the single crochet into the last chain space. Then I will make five single crochets again. One. Two, three, four, five, 
and then I just simply make a slip stitch into the sixth stitch and that's the end of our round and our bottom portion is complete Let's embellish the neckline of our poncho. I'm going where the three pieces meet. Right there at the first double crochet. I'm pulling through a new color or a new piece of yarn. Pull it through, make a chain and into the same stitch make a double crochet chain three skip the next three stitches and make a single crochet chain three skip the next stitches and make a single crochet continue this to the next chain spaces. I made my last single crochet above the double crochet. Here's my first space, my second and my, my third space here. I will make a puff stitch with five yarn overs into this middle space. Chain three, yarn over once, go into the middle space, pull the yarn very long. yarn over twice the second time and pull another long loop the third time yarn over and pull another loop the fourth yarn over pull a long loop and the fifth yarn over and pull a long loop then go through all the loops except the last one we have two loops on the hook Pull through all loops, chain three, and then continue with the pattern. Make a single crochet above the first double crochet, chain three, skip three, and make a single crochet and continue. I'm almost finished with this round. I will also make a puff stitch into this middle space. I made my last single crochet above the double crochet, chain three. Then make a puff stitch again into the middle space with five yarn over, one yarn over. Go into the middle space, pull a long loop, two, three, four, and five. Pull through all the loops except the last two and then pull through the last two loops. Finish this round, make a chain and then make a half double crochet into the single crochet. Begin the round with three chains, then make a pico. Go through one piece of yarn here, the third one, one, two, three, and make a single crochet. Then make a single crochet into the next chain space and repeat the pico one, two, three chains, then one, two, three, the third chain, make a single crochet. Go to the next chain space and repeat one, two, three chains in the pico, this time only one piece of yarn. Move to the next chain space 
and repeat this pattern all the way around. When you get to the chain spaces here, so you will make in each chain space a picot and then continue make a picot here and a picot here and then go all the way around. I'm at the puff stitch, I make a single crochet to the right of the picot. A single crochet to the left into that chain space with a picot and then again into all the chain spaces so this is the same really as all the other ones too. I made the single crochet in the last picot into the right side of the of the puff stitch and now all I want to do is make a slip stitch. It's a this uh, elongated, pulled it a little long that um, half double crochet we made, and I just slip into that. And this poncho is finished. All we have to do is add the tassels now. To make the tassels, I wrap the yarn around a piece of cardboard eight times, and I cut it. Fold your tassel in half. I have eight strands. Then I face the poncho right side up from the back to the front. Go through the chain spaces of five that we make and pull the tassel through. And then pull it again through the loop from the back to the front. Pull it tight. Let's do another one. And the corner is the same way. You just look for the chain space of five. And go from the back to the front. Pull through. And then again pull through from the back to the front. And pull tight. 